people out there have EOSs, you might know the feeling when you've been out of an EOS and you feel like you need to save the container but you don't know how to save it or what to do with it afterwards. Um, so you end up just throwing it away and buying a new one. Well, that is a bunch of EOSs that go into the garbage. And so I like to save my EOSs because I can do fun things with all of them. Um, so I'm going to be showing you guys today how to take an EOS and this one I'm still using so I'm not actually going to use this one. Um, but say this one was mostly empty, okay, we're just going to pretend and you're done with it but you don't want to throw it away. So I'm going to show you guys how to take it from looking like that to looking like that where it's completely empty and you can do whatever you want with it. Um, so I'll show you how to clean that and remove the center part in just a moment. So if you have lots of EOSs like me, then you are going to want to take them from going like that when they're empty to going like that, then you can use them for other things. So I'm gonna be demonstrating how to do this on this pink one here. Um, these two I'm still using, so I'm just gonna roll them off to the side. So remember, we're gonna be taking it completely apart. You can see that usually there is like a little piece there that goes in there, um, but I took that out. Um, so I'll be showing you how to take that out. And if you want to make more chapstick to go in your EOS, then you don't have to take that out. Um, but I'm gonna start off with showing you how to clean your EOS out. Now it's still got a little bit in there, but not really enough to use. Take a kind of pocket knife or kitchen knife. I know some things have said to use a butter knife, but I find that this works really well to use something sharp. On your EOS, you've got this little front piece, and on the side here, you'll notice that little piece that comes out. So what you're gonna do, take your knife, and just kinda dig it in there, and you're just gonna kind of try and wedge this thing out. So you may need to try from um, different spots along here. Um, but basically you're trying to scoop it in there and then just kind of scoop it out. So there we go. See? So I got it in there. I'm just kind of pushed in good. There we go. It came out with a nice loud pop. And there's the bottom side of my EOS. Um, so for right now, we do not need these two pieces. What you are going to need though is some uh, tissues or paper towels, napkins. You're just gonna take your knife and you're just gonna start scraping all of your EOS um, lip chapstick out of this container. Once you've got like the top layer off, what you can do is dig it in there on each side and you'll get out these like triangles of uh, US lipstick or chapstick. And now with your knife, it's not gonna come perfectly clean, but it will get it mostly cleaned off for cleaning it the rest of the way. So now I've got most of the chapstick out. So we're just going to kind of take a paper towel and just kind of scoop up what we can from it. It's not going to become perfectly clean using a knife and a tissue, but it will get most of the um, leftover chapstick. And then once you do it with the tissue, if you want, you can do it more with a knife a little bit. All right, so I've got what I'm going to get out from um, this part here with the knife and the tissue. So now I'm gonna go get a few more things and show you what to do next. So the next part for cleaning it, get a toothbrush. Let's see if I can open it. So get a toothbrush, you don't need to keep all the packaging. And then get some toothpaste and put a little bit of the toothpaste onto your toothbrush. And then just like when you're brushing your teeth, um, you just like get it wet and then you can just start brushing the EOS um, container. Make sure to get the toothbrush like in the holes 
It'll help get it nice and clean. Um, you can dip it back in the water as often as you need. This is a lot easier to do it um, when you're like over a sink or something instead of um, over a little dish. Um, so yeah, I recommend doing this over a sink. And then you can do this with each of your pieces because the top piece will definitely have like EOS residue um, on the top and then the bottom part will have some as well. So I've got it mostly cleaned out. I'll finish cleaning it in a moment. So next we're gonna take out this centerpiece here. You're gonna wanna work over some cardboard. Um, and then what you're gonna be doing is, if you have an X-Acto knife, you can use that. But if you do, please be very, very, very careful and probably even ask a parent to help you. Um, so then you don't get hurt because these are very, very sharp. And if you don't have an X-Acto knife, you can just use um, some scissors. Um, the X-Acto knife does work best though. If you have an X-Acto knife, you can use that, but if you do, please be very, very, very careful with it. Um, and even ask a parent probably to help you with it because it is very sharp and you don't wanna accidentally cut yourself. So probably just hold down an angle, be very careful. You're gonna sort of like saw through it but really the X-Acto knife is so sharp you won't really even need to saw through it. You can just kind of push down. Um, if you're having a hard time, definitely try sawing a little bit. Just kind of wiggle with your knife back and forth. So we've got this first piece here and just do this all the way around. And then this piece will just fall off Make sure to put the cap back on your X-Acto knife. So now you can see that these are two separate parts. Now the centerpiece, you don't need to keep it. If you want to, then um, you can keep it and do whatever you want with it, but I'm probably not gonna keep mine. So on this, you will um, roughen up the edges um, with the X-Acto knife, just because it will go, like you'll be putting pressure on it and then it'll finally just go and it'll kind of slip into the um, EOS. So if you don't want that, then go ahead and use um, some scissors or just be very, very careful. And there'll still be little nubs, but um, they'll be mostly gone. So now I'm gonna do the toothbrush method for cleaning it again, just to get all the rest of the uh, EOS out. So you've got all these three uh, separate uh, clean compartments, but now how do you get them back together? So the part that like has screws on, screw that on to the top. Now you're really gonna make want to make sure that it is all the way um, tightened, and then line up your front pieces, and then you're just gonna push it and snap it together, and then. You've got an empty EOS container, and it screws, and it matches up here again. So, now I have two uh, cleaned out EOS containers. And now, you can have lots of empty EOS containers that you can do whatever with. You can even mix and match the lids if you want to add a little bit more fun. Then there's the two I've got right here. Um, so I will be coming out with another video that has a bunch of ideas with what you can do with your um, EOS containers once you've cleaned it out. Um, so I've got all my EOSs, these I'm still using, um, and these I have already emptied, but once I'm done using these, I'm gonna also repurpose these, and I will then have four EOS containers that are empty, which is awesome because I love to use my EOS containers. Um, so keep an eye out for other videos that I've got coming out, and I will see you guys all next time. All right guys, I'm such a great juggler. I'm gonna juggle all four of these at once, you ready? I'm a really good juggler. Thanks. Like I said, I'm so great. See, look.
look at this talent. 